Okay, let's see if you can hear me now. Um, let's do sound test. Can you hear me? Sound test, sound test, sound test. Okay, great. Super, 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 super. All right. Um, before I begin, let me give you my email address. Martin at hit the mark trading.com okay and I'm going to put it in the chat as well because I do give out a morning email 30 days if you want to sign up for it all I do every single morning is I look at the news and I just determine uh, what I believe is important for me as a trader and I share that. And sometimes I, I gear it to day trading actually, but also we'll talk about macro. So if you would like to see how I write, it takes you about uh, one minute to read it, two minutes to read it, but it'll take me about an hour, hour and a half to at least an hour and a half to to write it so just want you to make aware of that if you want to get it i call it rooster call all right people are still filing in i'm going to go ahead and start the presentation we're going to talk about trend and momentum trading today and what i'm going to do is first i'm going to give you a little background about me and then i'm going to get into a strategy that you can immediately start testing on your own. However, I realize everybody's busy. And I realize that there are a lot of people that would find the learning curve shortened if they could just have a program, basically do everything that I'm teaching. So we will touch on the Rhymes Range Bar Sniper. It's an add-on for a Gina Trader. Okay? All right, let's go. So I appreciate a Gina Trader, uh, the commitment to education, and I love talking to traders. I really do. Uh, today we're going to talk about the next level of trading education where the power of trend and momentum trading is placed directly on the chart. But I'm going to show you one single strategy that you can immediately test and I'm telling you you can go over this recording and you can do everything you can to get it in your mind and practice and I think you're gonna do well I think you're gonna like it a lot it's uh, just only part of what I teach and what I do but still it's a form of me giving back we're gonna talk about specific entries specific protective stop, trailing stop suggestion. You'll have immediate eyes for, uh, immediate ideas for testing. So, a brief overview of trend and momentum trading, extensive use of charts. In other words, I'm gonna show you my methodology, seeing is believing, pictures are proof, and demonstration of the trailing stop and a semi-automated trading environment. Let's remember we're adults here, Trading stocks, options, contracts, futures, extremely risky and not suitable for everyone. Only trade with money you can afford to lose. Past results do not guarantee future results. And please consult a licensed professional prior to trading using real money. Paper trade to learn any new concepts. Paper trade regardless of your level of expertise. Now, a little bit about me. I've been trading for 25 years, okay? Uh, hard to believe, 10 years ago, I launched Hit the Mark Trading, a teaching newsletter with trade strategies. I went to video format in 2013. And now what I do is I write, I do a video as needed, minimum once a week, but as needed. But every single night, Monday through Thursday, I'm writing the market, the nightly market update. And I'll attach pictures or I'll do a video. I'm giving people 
trades called in advance based on the concepts taught in the courses that I provide. And what's good is, you know, the nightly market update is for position trading, but gosh, the day trader can benefit too because if something is expected to move for the position trader, then it is expected to be good for day trader as well. Now, I have a couple of, of, of courses I teach about four times a year, boot camp for position trading and just day trade, which is uh, total day trading immersion. And I have a live, a real-time trading room for practice on what you've learned. Everything I'm talking about today is good for stocks, options, bonds, futures, Forex. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got various indicators experience, and I've spoken at trading conferences and provided numerous webinars for traders, promoting what I believe is a more relaxed simplified trading now this is me and behind me some of my orchids I must have about 300 400 orchids I live in southwest Florida that's what they can grow pretty good there this is my trading room at the house the internet is so poor I had to rent an office but that's fine now um, I created Hit the Mark Trading due to a lack of straightforward trading methods because I've done this for so long. I realize that if you can keep the trading simplified, which is my goal, you're going to then be matching what the professionals are doing. They are keeping the stuff very, very simple. It is the retail trader who complicates so no matter what strategy you use, whether it's mine or something you come up with or someone else's, please make sure it is very, very simple, especially for day trading. Now, in everything we do, we look at the charts with an all-encompassing point of view. We're looking at price action. We're looking at trend and momentum. We have an oscillator we use. And, of course, I'm big on market linkage, big time. So Rooster Call is a morning client letter. I'll give you free days, 30 days free. Write me, martin at hitthemarktrading.com, or you can just sign up on the web page. Now, if you like what you hear today and you want to dive deeper, then this is the course you need to consider. And all this is available on the website. Let's quickly look at that. Let's see here. Just a moment. Here's the Hit the Mark Trading website. Click on this Just Day Trade. It's going to send you here. And this tells you everything we do. Okay? Six plus hours, six hours total immersion training you want to be into uh, position trading well the position trading this will have a tiny bit of day trading attached a tiny bit but if you really want to go deep the deep dive then you need to look at this just day trade If you're interested in this nightly market uh, update, it's on the services page. You want to go to Rooster Call, you go to contact, or you just write me, drop me a line. It's up to you. Okay. Now, I've put the link in uh, Agena. I'm sorry, the, uh, the link in the chat here let me put this in here and this will take you to the page for the rhymes range bar sniper now before you look at that and say my gosh that's so expensive I'll tell you right now there's a trade on the ES that one single trade if you manage the trade 
paid for the course, one trade, one contract today. So, you know, make sure you're evaluating what I'm doing here because I think it can help you. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Let's get back to our program. This Rhymes Range Bar Sniper Package, it's an add-on, and I'll touch, I'll touch with more on that toward the end of this uh, presentation. But right now, I want to show you exactly what I use, just a piece of it, but it can get you going in the right direction. Now, what is momentum trading? Momentum trading is the art of spotting a market ready to move selecting a trade and entering the trade with confidence and utilizing predetermined exit points. Momentum trading builds off a firm understanding of support and resistance along with known areas. Price is attracted toward moving. You understand that? Momentum trading builds off a firm understanding of support and resistance along with known areas. Price is attracted toward moving. That's big. Known areas, price is attracted toward moving. How do we know that these are known areas? Because we are watching the footprints of the big money, the people who are actually moving the market. I'm telling you they keep it very simple. And the whole idea is it's, it's a herd behavior. If the, if the professional herd moves in the same direction at the same time and everyone in that herd understands what they're doing, then the herd will make money and the people who are retail trading, it's going to be hit or miss. Therefore, we, we want to know what are these known areas prices attracted toward moving. We're talking about with momentum trading, trading directionally, up or down, riding the price wave rather than reacting to what might happen. And this is usually accompanied by a price oscillator. Used for intraday and short-term trading, holding over a few, uh, whether you're trading a few minutes, a few hours, a few days, or weeks. Today is about day trading. Now, when you're talking about determining trend, the intraday trader will use the daily chart for the big picture. Use short-term chart for tactical entries. As a general rule, the more volatile the market, the smaller the time frame. What do I mean by that? If you see that you're in a market that's moving, rather than trade on a 15-minute chart, drop it down. Myself, I prefer activity-based charts. I have done extensive testing on time charts and, and all types of uh, activity-based charts. And I have found that if you try to uh, trade on a, a five-minute chart or whatever time chart you want, about the only one I like is the one-minute. I will look at a five minute. I will look at a 15 minute to make sure I'm aware of the big picture. Absolutely. But how many times have you seen a big move start? And if you're looking at a five minute chart, you get in and you know in your you know in your mind that the candle is so big it's liable to come back and retrace and knock you out. If you use activity-based charts, I think you can get in faster, okay? Now, if the market is moving super, super slow, I don't think it matters. Markets move in three directions, up, down, and sideways. If the market is sideways, we are greatly challenged unless the range is large. Hey, Jerry, just saw your name. So what this means is, 
I know there's people and all they want to trade is the ES. I mean, I've, I've got those kind of people as clients. And I pound the table saying, look here. We've got to expand your horizon. For example, in August, the first two weeks of August, I think you can forget about trading equity index futures. Why? Europe's on vacation. The USA is winding up vacation. There's no volume. And anyone trying to trade the equity index futures the first two weeks of August, it's, it's just absolutely awful. What's moving? Well, at that time of the year, we see gold can move and crude can move. So you can take the exact same strategy that you like on the ES and you simply put that on something that's moving. We know the soybean market tends to move in August. Okay? Don't tell me there's nothing moving. I know there's stuff moving. But equity index futures is not as a general rule, they're not moving the first two weeks of August. Obviously, geopolitical events can cause movement. Now, oscillators derive their power from price movement. So for this reason, you really need to understand how to read support and resistance and price action. The, the interaction of these three concepts, price action, support, resistance. Your oscillator then provides a trigger point for entry. Now this is what most traders look like when they're trying to figure out which oscillator to use. I don't know if you remember the story of the six blind men. And each one of these guys felt a different part of the elephant. And they were convinced by what they felt they knew exactly what they were, were uh, they were describing exactly what they felt as if that was everything. So you look at the guy at the back, okay? He's just feeling the tail. Well, if we apply this to trading, maybe this is a guy who says, oh, slow stochastic is just my, it's, it's everything. It's just the best. It's the best thing to look at this market. Or you got the guy who says, well, my expensive proprietary method that I purchased, it has to work. It has to describe the market because, after all, it's so expensive, it must be. Maybe you got the guy that, that likes Bollinger Bands. Okay. Another one says, no, no, percent R tells me everything. Percent R can fully describe this market. And you got your RSI and your MACD. Now, everyone has their personal favorite. And in the beginning years, before day trading, I used slow stochastic, MACD, Williams percent R, and RSI. And I used probably the Bollinger Bands, right? Because when you are, when you have the luxury of looking at charts end of day. Time means nothing. You're sitting there, you've got a, a drink or a, a hot tea, whatever, and you can evaluate until, until you're totally convinced your mind, okay, well, hey, this, this, gosh, all these things are looking like I need to take a trade. But the longer you trade, the more you find out that you can simplify. So I just, after years, I have honed in on the Commodity Channel Index, also called the CCI. Now here's something that no one will tell you. In a strong momentum market, everything works. I mean everything. One time I was giving a presentation, and I thought, you know, 
we've had a pretty good momentum day. I want to show these people that literally anything will work. So I just threw up a chart and I put a 7 moving average and a 21 moving average. Didn't test it. But I said, okay, when the 7 crosses the 21, go long or go short, whatever the direction is. And guess what? It worked. I just, I pulled that just out of the brain, right? It could have been 8 and 24. It could have been 9 and 27. It could have been, I mean, it could have been anything. That's my point. In a strong momentum market, all price oscillators work. In a tight range market, all price oscillators will lose their predictive value, and I mean all of them, even the expensive proprietary. So this is one more reason to monitor several markets looking for momentum. Now, what is the CCI? It's an index, right, a price oscillator created by Mr. Donald Lambert. I've met Mr. Lambert. In a moving market, the CCI is shown to lead price. Now, do not take my word for it. Check out John Murphy's book, Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets. And by the way, if you have any questions, I'll answer the questions at the end. So in his book, Technical Analysis of the Financial Markets, this is required reading for anyone that wants to become a chartered market technician. He only spends half a page, maybe, if that much, talking about CCI because it's a thick book and he's talking about everything. But here's what I want you to see. Notice that the CCI turns before prices at each top and bottom. Now, that's huge. You got that? CCI turns before prices. Wow. What's he talking about? Well, CCI is turning down. And finally here, price starts turning down. CCI turning up. Price turns up. CCI turning up, price turns up. Hello. Now, since it is getting you early, it has the tendency, it can get you out of the trade early. So here we go. We know the market's going up. CCI is giving you the idea wait a minute, momentum might be leaving the party. So, sure, I use a filter in addition to the CCI. Absolutely. Okay, let me get rid of this, my drawings. The CCI is a price oscillator. Now, all you need to know is that we are comparing price with a simple moving average over a selected time span. Mr. Lambert suggested 20 days. Now, what we're going to do for intraday use it's the same methodology. We're just going to adjust the CCI setting to 14 from the default 20. What this means is when you have your chart software, I don't care whose chart software it is, the default is always 20. You are going to go in there for day trading, and you're going to change that to 14. You're going to put this on smaller time frames in moving markets with a good range. How do I know what a good range is? Well, you look at your daily chart. If, if the range is super tight, well, then that's not a good range, is it? What's got a good range? That's what you want to know. And I believe in trading the rush hour instead of all day. Well, we have a rush hour in the morning, and we have rush hour, a known rush hour in the afternoon. How do we have a known rush hour in the afternoon? because of herd behavior. You've got to get that in your mind. You've got the professional class and you've got the retail class. Which one do you think has the market working to their advantage? All right? Now this is a uh, recent chart here. March 19 gold, and I'll, don't worry, I'm gonna show you today's chart. 
and notice the CCI. The zero line, I'll get my little, I believe I have a bouncing ball, right? Boom, 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 boom. Here's the zero line. We consider this maximum support and resistance. We believe when you print five to six bars over the zero line, then you have a CCI uptrend. When you have five to six bars below the zero line, you have a CCI downtrend. Now on Agena, I, I gave this to the Agena guys. Um, we're color coding this thing. So you got the yellow tells you, okay, we print one more bar, we're going, we're up, we're ready. It's 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 a uh, upward bias. Down here, one, two, three, four. Okay, the fifth bar. That's telling you that tr the trend has changed. I'm sorry, wrong uh, description there. So five bars and the trend has changed. Five bars and the tr trend has changed. Okay. Oops, sorry. And what we have is the CCI is giving us a bias. The 100 line and the minus 100 line, the 150 line and the minus 150, this is, these are both what we call minor support and resistance, minor support and resistance. Now there's one more, there's this gold line, that's a 200. And down here would be minus 200. And all that indicates is we just say, okay, the market's hit extremes. We don't see the CCI continu continuing forever over and over and over above the 200 line. Okay, It's at an extreme level, and chances are it's going to pull back. Okay, We're going to primarily concern our ourselves today with the minus 150 line and the plus 150. You're, you are a beginner. So this is what I want you to focus on. But I do believe you should note what the zero line means. Okay. Good. Okay. Normal. Don't worry about how to calculate this. All the software platforms have this totally automated. All you put in is the time period. I will show you the calculation. It means nothing to me because it's already done. I don't have to prove this and challenge the software. I don't have to do that. I just want you to know it's a histogram. The zero line represents major support and resistance, the 100 and 150 or minus 100, minus 150 represent minor support and resistance. Now, why is that important? Because when the CCI breaks through minor support and resistance, then suddenly we have what? A stronger up thrust of or down thrust of momentum that's why this that's why those lines are important now i'm going to talk to you about the diagonal trend line break on the cci very powerful very auspicious we're going to start drawing this from the plus or minus 150 line an extremely simple concept and the diagonal trend line break is a wonderful tool so don't worry i'll show you today's chart. This is last week, I believe. March 28. Yes. Now, a lot of action going on. Let's go through it very slowly. And, and, and let me ask you something. Don't you like how clean the charts are? 
Aren't they just beautifully clean? I mean, I'm not having all this, all these, you know, lines and all this stuff. And you're trying to say, well, you know, what's going on here? And, and, and you know, or maybe part of it's colored and part of it's not colored or some God, something they call a, you know, a cloud. What is all that about? And I don't care about volume. And the reason I don't care about volume is because volume is inherent in momentum. If the momentum's good, we've got volume. And I also know that the herd, the people in charge, are going to be entering the market in advance of the retail trader. I know that. You know that. They cause the volume. And so many times they set up traps because they know the retail trader is so programmed to watch volume and thanks to high frequency trading the professionals can throw all kind of traps out there it's illegal to spoof they call it spoofing but the CFTC has admitted they don't have the tools to catch all this stuff so you get these huge orders that appear on the dome and then suddenly they're gone. So one of the things we know about day trading is what? You got to you got to react. This is not this is not looking at a 4-hour chart like the forex people do. This is not looking at a daily chart. We're talking about action that happens it can happen very quickly so if you're one of the people that are waiting for volume if you say well okay everybody everything's set up where I just I need volume I need volume or you saying, okay well I got volume but I don't have my indicator yet give me a signal or maybe you've got to have five indicators give you a signal I don't know but the point is you don't have time for all that stuff to happen and to occur because by the time that everything says, okay, yes, every T is dotted, I'm sorry, every every I is dotted, every T is crossed, Every when you see that, when you see it finally all take shape, the move's gone. And then you're saying, well, gosh, should I get in? It's already moved. So then you say, okay, I'll get in. Well, guess what? They turn it right back on you. And this is what they do every single day because these guys are professionals. And their objective is to take money out of the market. It's difficult taking the money from other professionals. They take it from people like you and me, retail traders. Absolutely. So we better know what they're doing. And all this other stuff that you cloud up your charts with is just, you know, it's entertainment for your eyes, I guess. Let me get rid of this. I mean, we're the human mind is not willing to accept simplicity. Let's see here. I'm trying to get rid of this. Uh, my program's kind of gotten froze up a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Bear with me while this uh, settles down. I'm getting uh, – hang on. I don't know. My program just froze up. Okay. There, I got it now. The diagonal trend line break on the CCI. Yes, there are four other CCI patterns that I use and teach along with other robust setups and filters and nuances. Absolutely. But with 50% of the trades we take, it's accomplished with this, what I'm showing you today for free. 
so you can immediately start testing. So the rule here, and we'll go to the charts, start drawing at 150 or better, 150 or higher. Obviously, if you're like 147, okay, you're a discretionary trader. You're allowed to say, okay, well, that's close enough. Better trades in markets showing momentum, 14 period CCI for intraday on all time periods 60, uh, below 60 minutes. Now, I would not suggest counter trend trading unless you have mastered trend trading. Just start off one foot in front of the other first. So let's look at this. Now this is today. This is today. I believe the first 15 minutes of the trading day is a killing field. Now I know there are people that trade the gap. I've done it myself. Um, in that first 15 minutes, I've seen the Russell 2000 move up $300 and down $300 all in within one minute. I have gotten to the point where I let the first 15 minutes go by. It's exceedingly rare that we have the market just suddenly take off and never look back. It can happen. Yes, it's rare. Guess when this signal occurred right here? Nine forty five. Meanwhile, this is the red is nine thirty in the morning. So take it up, take it down. Okay, a little bit higher, suddenly turn it down. Is it worth it? Or can you practice waiting for the first 15 minutes? Now, this is pre-market over here. Pre-market. Okay, now this gold line happened to be something I, I had referenced last week, and it was still on the chart. Um, you can see that today it certainly still caused a little bit of concern for price. Um, I want to talk about diagonal trend line break. So here we go. We're going to start drawing it from 150 or, or uh, greater. So he says, okay, I broke it here. And I guess that's when this guy took his trade suggestion. Um, here's another one. Now, now notice what I'm doing. I draw and I want to touch the CCI and just extend it out. And then here is the break. Okay. Here's the break. Let's go over here. Okay. Now, there's no signal print because the computer says, hey, you're already in this trade. <clears throat> Otherwise, you'd have a bunch of arrows all the time. <clears throat> so the, it's assuming you're in that trade. All right, so it looks like it's about right here. That's your short. Here's another one. And then people say, well, wait a minute. I missed the big entry. I missed this. What can I do? Well, you wait for a diagonal trend line break going in the same direction. Here's another one. Let's look at this. Now, it's hard for me to see this and draw, but I've got it drawn on another one. This might have been one that didn't work that well. I'll tell you where we put our stop, and then you can tell me if it worked or not. But right here, people are feeling heat. It's like, what? What? What did I do? But wait till you see the protective stop. You're, you, you were not hurt. Here's diagonal trend line break here. Now, wait a minute. 
There's no bump. I'm not touching anything. Here's I'm touching a bump here. There's nothing here. Okay. If it's just a, you know, a straight angle, I just run it up the side. But where I can, I prefer to have a bump because it represents the CCI came down, couldn't break through, pushed back up, and then finally was able to thrust through that diagonal trend line. Here's another one. And look at what price did. So from, from here all the way down to here is, I think, $1,700. $1,700, okay? And you were looking at the price of the add-on, and you're thinking, who's going to pay that kind of money? And this is one trade. One trade. One trade, one contract. Okay, let me go back to this. I don't know what it is about the human mind, but the human mind loves to complicate. Okay, so let's talk about where are we going to put our protective stop in. An, in I'm going to show you that in just a moment. First, let me give you the rule. If you're going to go long, you will place your protective stop below either your trigger price bar, where you got the signal, or a prior price bar to the trigger. Whoever is lower, and you're going to go long. If you're going to go short, you place that stop above the trigger bar. Or if the, pre the prior bar is higher, you place the stop there. Okay? All right. Now, use of trailing stop. I love trailing stops. They allow you to stay in the trade. The only time I will not use the trailing stop is if it looks like it's just, you know, not really sure what it wants to do. And that's a gut thing. And then I might use just targets. One day in gold, four times. Take one off at eight ticks, and then it ran back to, I think I had it break even, or break even plus one, and it just took me out four times in a row. So that would be an instance where if I would have been all in, all out, I would have been very happy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a profit. But gosh, four times in a row to get your stop, you know, taken out, your trailing stop. So what we do is we have our initial larger stop, and I'm going to show you. And then we follow this. As the market moves, the, the trailing stop takes over from the initial stop. And as the trade moves in the intended direction, we are trailing. And we use what I call the rhyme stop on a Gina trader. Okay. So this is hard to look at. I understand that. But what this shows you is the trailing stop method. So that, let's look over here. If you take the long, here's your trailing stop. Now, let, let me back up here. Here's the signal. Now, as a mechanical idea, in other words, you don't think, you just do it. You get your signal, and you immediately say, who's lower? And this is lower. So that's going to be where your protective stop is. Initial. Can price come back and whack down and hit you? Absolutely. We know that. But you got to look at how more often than not, this thing is an unbelievable protective stop. So once we get going and the trade starts moving, here's your protective stop going up. And he will only be taken out if price actually closes below him. So. Here is where, probably where he was taken out, okay? 
right here. If it closed on him, it might not have taken him out or just a little bit, a, a tick higher than it would not have taken him out. It will not take him out if it dips below but then closes above it. It'll still keep him in the trade. So if it touches, no problem. If it dips below but closes above, you're still in the trade. Now, here is where, look, look what happened now. You close below it. So this is where this guy got out. Now, notice that the signal did not fire until here. Because this guy is not trying to say, okay, we're, we're ready to call a top. No. This guy says, I want a mechanical reason to take a trade short. What was that reason? Most likely, it was this diagonal trend line break. Or, or there's another signal we use that I'm seeing here. I don't have time to go into it. In fact, it was another signal we use. Now, this is very dangerous. And I'll talk about this later. But if I see that we are in a move, a, a sideway range of, say, 200, and, and I'm not exact about that if it's 200 or if it's 235 dollars well i'm just not interested i'm just not interested because i know it can just chop back and forth and by the time you get in it's going to reverse on you so i do um i do monitor that and i just i want price to resolve the issue Okay, so there's several profit considerations to choose, including profit targets. You decide the target, and uh, typically on NQ we, or in YM, our first target might be 15 and then 30. Nothing wrong with that. Lately, in these markets we've had, it's just... It's been incredible. So you can get a lot more as long as these markets keep moving. All throughout 2017, it was tough for a lot of the equity index futures. You'd have the occasional good day or maybe all the action happened in the overnight and hardly anything happened in the US trading session. So I got accustomed to taking smaller targets. I didn't even try for runners. Well, now we're trying for runners. So you can use profit targets. There's nothing wrong with just being profit target. Exits are an extremely personal issue. And, and it is the most difficult aspect of trading. Forget about trying to find the latest and greatest entry. Forget that. Entries are a dime a dozen. Exits are the absolute most difficult aspect of trading because it will directly relate to your mind and your relationship to money. So if you see a trade go, let's say, $300 in your direction, and then all of a sudden you're convinced it's going to go higher, and all of a sudden it just takes you out and you only make 75 bucks, how are you going to feel? Are you going to kick yourself? Are you going to go home uh, to the kitchen and get a drink? Are you going to gripe? Are you going to complain? Hey, you made $75. Well, maybe you not maybe you shouldn't use runners. Maybe you should just decide okay, at $200 profit, I'll just get out of the trade. I know a guy who manages money for people. He trades a lot of contracts. Every single trade, a lot of contracts. He's only going for three ticks. It must work for him. I have other people that I was at a meeting one time and the guy just looks at me after the, the break. He says, I don't know. I just can't take myself out of a trade. Well, I'm thinking you're not going to be here long. 
there's some people that have a defined goal. They're going to make $1,000 a day on, you know, an account size of 5,000 bucks. And guess what? They never do it. And you can try too hard and you can blow out your account. If you want to use CCI, you can note that when it starts turning at the 150 line back towards zero, this is your first indication. Look out, momentum might be weakening. And if CCI crosses the 100 line, what do we call this? Minor support and resistance. If it crosses this, you should be out of the trade. You can always get back in. When you know markets are moving, yes, you can use the trailing stop for capturing greater gains. This is a tough business. It is not easy. Now, what I've shown you with this diagonal trend line break is robust. It can be used on any instrument, on any chart time frame. If an action repeats, we can trade it. Remember, in day trading, use activity-based rather than time charts. Remember that I'm not interested. If I see the market is trading between 200 and 250, something like that, I'm not interested in that because I know by the time I get in, it will go against me because it's it's communicating that. So I must let price resolve the issue. What and that means I must wait for price to move out of that range. Meanwhile, your oscillators or your moving average, whatever you're using, your expensive proprietary, it can chop you up. So you must let price resolve the chop. Now I've got this built in on the Rhymes Range Bar Sniper in that if you used a 10 range bar, that's um, what, 125 bucks each price bar. It means it has traveled a range of 10. It could have gone down four and then it goes up six and it's going to print that bar it could have gone down nine and up one it's going to print a bar so the way it's set up if it sees price let me see if i can find a chart here if it sees price moving in just two You know something like this okay it's not going to fire a signal all right and this can be expanded if you want to say no i want i want three okay great you can do three but what he's doing is he's looking back and he's saying okay how many have i got like six of these guys and we're not going anywhere well then i'm not going to take a trade unless we get out of this Let me uh, let me go back to this. I kind of glossed over the protective stop. Here is your signal. Here is your stop. Just right here, just above that. What's what does that mean? Just above, a tick or two above it. Here's your signal. Your stop here. Here's your signal, your stop here, just above it. Guess what? This one didn't work. Hello. Guess what? It didn't work. First 15 minutes is a killing field. All right, here's the signal. Well, where's the stop? This is lower, so you're just right here. Gee, that didn't work. It went, but then it just quickly fell. What happened? First 15 minutes is a killing field. What about this one? Well, 945. Hello. So here's a stop. Now we talked about a diagonal trend line break, didn't we? I'm not good at drawing this freehand. So let's just say it's this one right here. If, if the signal is here, 
the stop is right here, just above that. Let's look at this diagonal trend line break. So the signal is here, the stop is here. You survived the chop. Hello. Diagonal trend line break. So the signal's here. Here's where the stop is. You're not knocked out. That's my point. Diagonal trend line break. Signal's here. Now I'm guessing it's, it's this one, right? Oh, shoot. I need a class on straight lines. You know that? I think it's this one. Anyway, if it's this one, if I'm correct, then here's your stop. If it's this one, I can't honestly tell. Then you say, well, well, who's higher? I'm going short. Who's higher? Well, he's not higher. So this is going to be my stop. Whoever's higher. Diagonal trend line break. Stop up here. He's higher. See how that works? It's beautiful. It's the best thing I've ever, ever, ever seen in my life. Good. I've seen a lot. All right. Remember that when you're trading and you tell your broker, hey, if I lose $1,200, just, just shut me down. Your broker says, okay. Well, in a fast market, you might get stopped out and you look at your statement and it says that you had lost uh, $1,500. You call the broker and say, wait a minute, we agreed you'd take me out if I lost $1,200. And he's going to tell you, well, you know, the market was moving so fast. By the time that we executed the order to take you out, it had already moved. And you have no recourse. When you sign to trade electronically, anything can happen. And you are holding the broker completely free and clear. There's no liability on the broker or the exchange. you got to understand that. Okay, let's look at the package. So all the charts are created with a Gina Trader. I use range bars. I used to use tick charts. I got no problem, no problem with tick charts. I've used volume charts before. I'm, I've, I've looked at the Rinko charts. I've used time. I still will look at time in the periphery. All we ask for is momentum and a trading range. I mean, I've used the Hank and Ashy before too, so you know. You have to figure out what speaks to you. Now, remember, we buy into the dream of financial freedom through day trading. And you're going to be sold that from your broker to everybody else who's in the business that, hey, you're going to be so well off. And the truth is, this is a very difficult business. So chance favors the prepared mind. Either you control your mind or you stop trading immediately. Now. What if you had a, a trading assistant? Your trading assistant monitors the market and calls out setups. What if all you had to do was scan the suggested setup and either agree or disagree? Would that help your trading become more relaxed? Could you let the market come to you, so to speak? Well, that's the idea behind the Rhymes Range Bar Sniper Package. It's semi-automated trading in that you set it all up, but you're the broker. I mean, I'm sorry, you're the trader. You're the trader in command. So just because it sends a signal, you don't have to take it. You can mul monitor multiple markets. You can monitor multiple chart time frames. The software scans the signal. So in this package, 16 criteria are checked. 16 and you know if you if you do this for a long time all your brain is doing the 16 criteria check if you're new 
then you have to there's it takes time to understand the nuances and the filters and everything so that's why when the computer can automatically check everything and say yeah we're good to go here's a signal it's easier to just then look at the signal and say well he's saying i can go does it make sense okay i'll enter with this agena trader the orders are preloaded when a condition is met and what that means is you not only get the signal but there in front of you it says okay i want to trade two contracts or however many you want to trade and i want to take one off at a predetermined point and i want to let the other run according to my trailing stop that whatever you want to use and i've got my initial protective stop so everything's done for you it's all done for you all you do is you say yes or no if you want to then you can have this set up where your assistant automatically will size the orders based on your account size. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's say that you are trading and you're doing pretty good and your account size starts increasing. You can have it where the software automatically will increase or decrease your order size according to your account balance. So instead of trading three contracts or five contracts, if your account size gets larger, automatically the software says, okay, now we're trading six or seven. Or if you take a hit, right, nothing's 100%. No one has made a 100% uh, trading program or no trader, no professional is 100%. So let's say you get a hit and the system automatically says, okay, well, instead of trading seven contracts, we're going to drop this down now to five. Or instead of trading five, we're going to drop this down to two. Whatever. All according to your own risk parameters that you put into the system. When you do this, you're simply let to trade the markets, okay? You're the trader in command. So now what you've got is a Gina Trader has suddenly created a money management back office. It's taking care of all the details that you have predefined. You are the trader in command. So now all you, your priority is to find moving markets. That's your priority. If I can find a moving market, I've got a system. It tells me where the signals are. I decide yes or no, and I'll either enter or decline the trade. That's it. And a Gina Trader takes care of the rest. Now that's good. So you can shorten the learning curve. Um, you can test this Rhymes Range Bar Sniper package. There's a 14 day trial. If you don't like it, by the 14th day, you ask for a refund. That's it. You can purchase it or you can rent. If you rent, it's going to be a little bit more than if you just purchase it outright. Well, if it works for you, it's your choice. Run your test. Extensively test. Gain your quiet confidence. And then just wash, rinse, repeat exactly like the professionals. So... You want to find out more information, go to hitthemarktrading.com. Go to Clients and Resources page. Click on Agena Trader. And I think I've already put some links in there to in the chat that will tell you exactly where to look. Do it again. If you're interested in the courses, if you want to say, you know what, I want... I want to know everything you do. I want to know everything that you do. Fine. Very reasonable price. I need to raise the price. Very reasonable. 
because a lot of people that come to me have already taken previous courses and I appreciate that they've lost money and I'm trying to help so these are uh, $575 for the just day trade or the boot camp so you've got something you can immediately start testing and that's huge so I want to thank our host for the webinar today, Agena Trader. I'd like to remind you, you can sign up for um, a free trial if you're interested in the Agena Trader and uh, also the Rhymes Range Bar Sniper add-on. You can sign up for my morning client letter. Either go to the contact page at hitthemarktrading.com or you simply drop me a note I'll write it martin at hitthemarktrading.com and that's how you reach me okay now are there any questions are there any questions at all any questions any questions I don't see any questions. That means I'm either very thorough or you're asleep. That's fine. If you think of a question, send me an email. And that's about it. I look forward to hearing from you. I want to wish you the best in your trading. It's a difficult business, but that doesn't mean that people aren't trading and people are making money. Absolutely. But just be realistic and uh, make your trading as mechanical as possible. Okay, I appreciate the opportunity, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.